Hello, I am Natalie, and I've been thinking a lot of a possible Nether 2 update. I was, I've been thinking a lot about the Nether, and it's actually one of my more favorite parts of Minecraft. I, but I still think there could be a lot more added to the Nether, specifically for the Soul Sand Valley and the Warped Forest. First, I have thought of a new biome to think about, and it's going to be called the Spore Forest. So let's start with our spore forest and what it could end up looking like. I think that it would be really interesting to have the first green wood and green planks. So that's what this is going to be themed around. So obviously, just like the others, it has the veins that pulsate and kind of look like it's alive, you know? It kind of looks like a cactus. But, you know, Mojang would probably think of much better color combinations than I can. But to not make it look too much like the overworld by being an entirely green biome, I'd probably also add yellow to the warp blocks, which are the leaves, and the Nicelium. Mainly because yellow is a primary color, and the other two forests are also primary colors, so I thought that would mix the best. So here we go to why I would call it the Spore Forest. Here we have a player, and here we have the mushroom for this biome. The warped fungus and the, the crimson mushroom is when a player steps into one of these, and don't mind the drawings. When you accidentally step on one of these mushrooms, a spore cloud emits from the fungus that will have a random effect such as nausea, poison, blindness, or a mix of all of them in between. Three new mobs added as well. One will be the tendril. So, you know, it'll come out of the ground and it's kind of stationary. It'll be kind of like, or more, yeah, kind of like a tentacle enemy that will attack players if they get too close or if they are quote unquote attacking the biome. So if you are harvesting, if this player harvests this tree, the tendrils will attack the player. But they are stationary and they can't move. So the best they can do is throw bits at you. I, I, I don't know what yet, but like maybe pieces of mushroom, pieces of shrooms at you. Another idea for this biome is maybe to have something like a, a shroom slime. Something to fill the biome with. Plus there's already the magma cube. So it's not like it wouldn't fit in the in this biome. Of course it might look a little too similar, so that's why I've added a shroom on top. But I was thinking when these guys are split up, when you kill them, instead of just splitting into multiple little cute cubie boys, they now also release the same puffs of spores So when they die. So they die, spores. They fart on you. I'm also thinking another new one could be a sh pig variant called the Shroomlin. These little guys have been taken over by their biome, such as mushrooms and the brown mushroom. They will also have a, they could have a green variant like this, or possibly also a yellow variant. I don't know, feeding them different mushrooms can get, make them different colors. You know, maybe you can make a crimson one or a blue one or a, you know, if there was a soul sand mushroom, black ones. I also think a really nice way to sell this biome is by having a really thick, fog that's green and they'll have little green drips coming from the the ceiling of sp from like maybe spore vines that are like different colors Just hanging off the roof dripping there I have another idea because warped forests kind of don't feel very alive. They're pretty much just the crimson 
forest, but blue. And then they only have Enderman. So, mind my drawings, but I have thought of a new little guy that can be a cool guy. So, I was thinking a mob more like a raptor type shape. So, you know, here's the hooves. And then, like, there's the raptor hoof that it has. And then, you know, raptor shaped with little hands. That's more like T-Rex shaped. And I got some inspiration from both the pig and the hogland with its hair all styled. Kind of like raptor feathers with a tusk and a cute little pigtail. And this might be what they could look like at the front. Something kind of cute, but also kind of scary, is what I kind of want to go for. Because I want to have these guys as tameable, rideable mobs. And they are unique from horses, as they are rideable companions. Basically, you know how a dog will follow you? This guy will still follow you, once you feed him. And that will probably be the pork chop. Because what else is in the nether other than pigs? For this guy, I thought, you know, he's kind of like Raptor Tauntaun. I think he should be rideable. I should think he should spawn in the warped forest and be a nice shade of blue. I think they should hunt Endermen so that way the Endermen actually have something to worry about in this dimension. Because, like, other than that, they kind of just sit there and do nothing. So what, what makes these guys special from, like, wolves and horses? Other than they're kind of a mix of both. I think they should... They will attack the last mob type it saw you attack. So if you attacked a strider, this thing will hunt down every strider in its vicinity. And, and it will keep hunting them even after... Like, it will keep trying to hunt them. If you are accidentally attack a villager around this guy, he will kill all the villagers for you. I think he could be really useful for different types of mob farms, especially if he, they are, especially if Endermen are afraid of them. Like, run away and they'll also attack. They're also hostile to the player as well. So, trying to win through the heart of one of these bloodthirsty pigs will still be a difficult challenge just like everything else in the nether but something to give you a companion along the way the soul sand valley is very also kind of just empty so i think for the the best thing for soul sand valleys is obviously adding more skeleton mobs probably cats dogs anything like, come on, Mojang. This is like, uh, it's, the, the, the Soul Sand Valley is pretty just land. You know? There's nothing really going on in this biome. Except Soul Sand. And skeletons. And fossils. And soul soil. And more ghasts. I think instead of ghasts, they should add the phantom to this zone. Looks just like the Phantom from Minecraft. You don't have to remove the mob, you can just put them in Soul Sand Valleys. Here's Ghast. Jellyfish. Ghast. And you know what? You, you could even add more wither, skele wither types of skeletons. So, you know, these cats and dogs can also have wither variants that are, like, evil. There you go. Leave a like and a comment. And maybe sub to this. Sub to the Shadow Crawlers. Goodbye. See you later. And have a good day. Sorry if this video is weird. And sorry for the lack of uploads. I am not an AI, I swear to God. <laughs>